my name is Jennifer Burley and I'm a PharmD candidate of the class of 2022 and today I will be discussing methyl dopa, also known as aldamet. I will begin with a brief overview of methyl dopa. Methyl dopa is in the drug class. It is a centrally acting alpha-2 adrenergic agonist and it is also an antihypertensive agent. The indication for methyl dopa includes hypertension. It may also be used in chronic hypertension during pregnancy. Studies show methyl dopa crosses the placenta, but it does not cause fetal harm and improves fetal outcomes. I will now go over the mechanism of action of methyl dopa. Methyl dopa is converted to alpha methyl dopa, and it is a potent alpha 2 adrenergic agonist that is then converted to alpha methyl norepinephrine, which acts centrally and stimulates the alpha receptors. This results in decreased heart rate, total peripheral resistance, and systemic blood pressure. Alpha-2 agonistic activity does not affect cardiac output or renal blood flow. Therefore, this medication may be useful in hypertensive patients with renal insufficiency. Next, I will discuss adult dosing for methyl dopa. Oral administration. So 250 milligrams oral tablet of methyl dopa will be initially given two to three times daily. Increase or decrease the daily dose every two days based on patient response and tolerability. The maximum dose of methyl dopa is 3000 milligrams per day, but the usual dosage range is 250 to 1000 milligrams daily in two divided doses. When methyl dopa is administered with other antihypertensives, other than thiazide diuretics, we should limit the initial daily dose of methyl dopa to 500 mg per day. Next, I will discuss formulations and dosing adjustments for methyl dopa. Formulations Generic methyl dopa is available in 250 mg and 500 mg oral tablets. Brand name Aldama is no longer available in the U.S. For recommended renal adjustments for methyl dopa. If a patient has a creatinine clearance of greater than 50 mls per minute, you should administer the methyl dopa every 8 hours. If their creatinine clearance is 10 to 50 mls per minute, you should administer it every 8 to 12 hours. If the creatinine clearance is less than 10 mls per minute, you should administer every 12 to 24 hours. Hepatic adjustments. There are no dosage adjustments required. However, use of methyl dopa is contraindicated if patient has active hepatic disease. Common adverse effects of methyl dopa include nausea, diarrhea, headache, dizziness, sedation, dry mouth, and rash. I will now go over serious adverse effects for methyl dopa, which include hemolytic anemia, such as the destruction of red blood cells, lupus-like syndrome, myocarditis, which is inflamed walls of the heart, pancreatitis, inflamed pancreas, liver toxicity, immune thrombocytopenia when the immune system attacks your platelets, reversible low blood count, involuntary movements, weight gain, and rebound hypertension. If you experience any of these serious adverse effects, seek immediate medical attention. Warnings, precautions, and contraindications of methyl dopa. Edema or weight gain may occur while taking methyl dopa. Discontinue medication if edema worsens or signs of heart failure are present. Sedation may occur when medication is initiated or whenever methyl dopa dose is increased. Taking methyl dopa may rarely produce hepatic disorders. However, it is important to report any signs of liver problems such as dark urine, upset stomach, stomach pain, or yellowing of the skin or eyes immediately to your doctor. Use methyl dopa with caution in patients with history of hepatic disease or impairment. Use methyl dopa with caution in patients with renal impairment because active metabolites of methyl dopa may accumulate in patients with renal impairment. Methyl dopa is not recommended in patients with pheochromocytoma. Involuntary movements have been observed in patients taking methyl dopa. Contraindications Contraindications for methyl dopa include patients with active hepatic disease such as acute hepatitis and active cirrhosis should not take methyl dopa. Patients with liver disorders related to previous methyl dopa therapy or patients with hypersensitivity reactions to any component of methyl dopa. And finally, patients with history of taking MAOIs or monoamine oxidase inhibitors should not take methyl dopa. 
I will now discuss patient education for methyl dopa. Avoid driving or doing other tasks that call for you to be alert until you know how methyl dopa will affect you. Check your blood pressure regularly while taking methyl dopa. Have your blood work checked regularly by your doctor while taking methyl dopa. That methyl dopa may affect certain lab tests, therefore it is important to tell all your healthcare providers if you are taking methyl dopa. Hemolytic anemia, which is a rare blood disorder, and liver problems have happened while taking methyl dopa. Talk to your doctor before you drink alcohol when taking methyl dopa. Tell your doctor if you're pregnant, plan on becoming pregnant, or are breastfeeding before taking methyl dopa. Talk to your doctor before using over-the-counter products that may raise your blood pressure, which includes cough or cold medications, diet pills, stimulants, and NSAIDs like ibuprofen or naproxen, and even some natural products before taking methyl dopa. To lower the chance of feeling dizzy or passing out, rise slowly if you have been sitting or lying down and be careful going up and down the stairs if you are taking methyl dopa. If you miss a dose, take the dose as soon as you remember unless it is close to your regularly scheduled dose. Then just take one dose. Do not take two doses at the same time or take extra doses of methyl dopa. Monitoring parameters for methyl dopa include blood pressure monitoring with a target blood pressure of less than 130 over 80 as recommended and to have your doctor perform a CBC, a complete blood count periodically, as well as liver enzymes should be monitored during the first 6 to 12 weeks of taking methyl dopa. These are my references. Thank you for listening to my presentation.